Hey everyone, um, it's the 3rd of January and um, we have this picture in the 2022 planner to have a go at. I think I thought I would have a bit of fun with it. I'm just going to fold the book Oops, so I have something to lean on. Um, and I'm going to have a go um, doing the leaves with some pastel colours. Um, I'm just going to get going and show you. I am going to be using, oh, before I zoom in too much, sorry about the shadow. Hold on. My lamp's in a strange place. Um, these pastel pencils, which I was gifted, um, they are um, quite a cheap budget pack, and I've been really impressed with them. So I'm going to use these, and I have a few ideas that I am going to show you. Just do a section in the middle. Because it's a symmetrical design, I'm going to colour both bits at the same time, um, if you get what I mean. I'm going to pick one pink, one of um orange a yellow a blue and a purple oh and a green so just one of each color like this okay it doesn't matter which one because there's sort of three pinks and uh several greens and different things i just want one of each so that's what i've just picked there's no reasoning behind it it's just what i've grabbed really now the stems of the trees the branches i guess um I'm not going to um, colour um, at this point. Um, I might show you in a minute what I'm going to do with those, but I want to show you the leaves. So I'm going to try to do a darker bit around the edge and then a bit lighter in the middle. So what I'm trying to do is press hard and put a few layers on the edge and then less in the middle. I hope you can see that. I don't want it to look too much like there's just a line around the edge. but And I'm going to do this one as well. Just because um, it's easier for me to remember which colour I've used. I'm not going to do all the leaves of the same shape, the same colour. I'm going to mix it up a bit. It's going to be a sort of, I'm going to say random, but not really. Because uh, I shall work through the colours and try and spread them out fairly evenly. Is our pink. Um, let's grab the yellow. I've chosen this pale yellow. The other one is a little bit neon-like. Um, it's not actually... Oh, okay. It's not actually unusual for there to be a neon colour in a set of pastels. I spoke to Suzanne Wimpley Berry the other day, um, well, quite a long time ago actually, about the um, Castle Art set and uh, she said there's a couple of pastel tones in there which seemed a little bit odd and uh, no sorry a couple of neon tones I'm doing this one yellow too because there isn't another one it's because it's in the center so I'm just keeping it the same um, there's some neon uh, some neon tones which she thought was a little odd and uh, it seems to be the case and I don't really understand it but it's just the way it seems to be Okay, I'm going to go for green. I'm just going to sharpen the green a little bit. So, I'm not going to do a huge amount of the tree. I'm just going to show you um, my idea in a minute. This is a nice green colour. It's very vibrant. And it's almost neon -y, I would say. But uh, anyway... I'd say it's very neony, not even almost neony, but hey, I don't mind. Okay, orange. Um, trying to keep it all in shot, really, so we don't have to keep moving the book about. Now, the main part of the tree, I do want to be brown, um, but a sort of subtle brown, not a, you know, it's sort of. Now, I don't. I've got two sets of pastel pencils three sets in fact and none of them have browns in now this is just a 12 set so maybe you wouldn't expect it i've got a 24 set which i was sent by grabby which are very similar to these i have to say um and i have a 12 set of holbein pastel pencils and none of them have a brown however i'm moving on to purple i have purchased a couple of browns um holbein pastels open stock so that's what I'm going to be using for the tree trunk because I want to keep it fairly um, light and in keeping with this theme. 
so that's what I'm going to do there I'm doing these in pairs just because they look the same I might not do that all the way through just doing it here I'm going to let just let myself have fun with it and see where it takes me really so I've got a blue one left um, we've got this pair in the middle here do these blue and then we'll make that do and I'll show you my idea because although it's a pastel so it looks quite spring like we're still in winter and I fancied making this look slightly wintry there are different ways that you can do that and I'll show you my idea in a minute let's just get this one covered up there we go okay so what I thought I would do was grab some oh glitter pens these are my shans they, you know, they're just glitter pens and what I want to do is to pick out the same shades as I've got pencil so I want an orange and a yellow uh, a green one of these greens is gold and one of them isn't so I'm gonna have to try them out same as the blues a pink and a Purple. I'm going to have to just try some of these out. I'm going to try them out on a scrap of paper and just check what colours they are. I'll do that for you to see. So this is what I think is the purple. Mm, I can't see that. That looks blue to me. That's purple gel pen with blue glitter. This is pink gel pen with purple glitter which I think might be better, so I think I'll do that one. I don't really want it to look blue. There's two greens. One of them's got gold glitter. Oh, I think that one... Mm, not sure. Hang on. Um, let's tip it towards the light. I'm sorry, I can't see. I think that looks green. We'll just try this one. This is blue. That's blue. And what's that? So quick look. That blue has got um, gold glitter in. Oh, see the gold glitter in the blue? And so is that green. So we don't want those two. Oh, the lid is non properly. Ah, there we go quite hard to click on sometimes but I'm gonna make sure they're on properly. So we're going to use which green that lighter green that purple that lighter green we've got this pink I think yeah gold orange and is this the blue yeah blue blue glitter okay so what I'm going to do with these the way that piece of paper is to outline the um, the leaves in the relevant colour. So I've got here the pink. So I'm just going to outline the pink leaf in some pink glitter like that. Same on this one. Now I realise this is quite a vibrant gel compared to the colour of the leaf, but it's all I've got. So there's our pink. Now the green, where's that? There he is. Try not to put your hand on top of your gel pen. I'm telling myself, by the way, not you. I'm sure you're far more wise. I'm very good at spreading gel pen all over my picture. So there's a sparkly green. You probably can't see it. A gold for our yellows. Doesn't want to come out. You could do all silver if you want something a bit different. You could use metallic pens if you don't have glitter. We could just not do this bit if you don't have it. It's completely up to you. Orange. I just thought it would be a bit different. Oh, my telephone's blinking. Blinking. It's, it makes a noise like a goose when a battery needs charging. I popped down just now to get a drink and I completely forgot. To grab it to put it on to charge. I should have to do that in a minute. 
sorry I keep stretching across the camera to reach my pen it isn't the best look is it down there and there across there up there and up there there we go there's the blue and the last one is our purple this is a bit pinky but I think it will it's the best we had There we go. I'm just going to move my book in my way. Right, so I shall just tip those so you can see this sparkle. There we go. Now, tree. Let's just move all this in here. Put myself in the right mess. Okay. Okay, so we've got a tree trunk here. And what I'm going to use is some. I've got a handful of pencils. I'm just going to pick from them these little browns. So I've got a Holbein khaki. I think that's a bit dark for what I'm going for. I've got a Prisma colour beige. That might work, actually. Um, I've got a Prisma colour jasmine there. That's no good. I've got a peach. No, that's no good. A light sand and a Derwent colour soft. I've just got a few odd bits and bobs. I think my other Holbeins, actually, are in my Holbein tin. What do I need to find? Because my whole binds are getting short. I put the um, some of the browns in the tin. So I've got a um, cork colour, which I think could be the one to go for, or a sand, which I think is a little bit pale. Now I'm going to go for the cork, put those away. So a cork whole bind. For the um, um, for the tree trunk. Now, I'm going to do the same as with the leaves. So go a little bit harder on the outside and less towards the centre. And we'll do the whole of the trunk with this one colour. We're just trying to press a little bit harder and put down a few more layers towards the outside of each branch and the main tree. Um, the only thing we don't, I don't have here for this one is some glitter pen in a brown. Um, we don't tend to get brown glitter pens, do we? Um, so I'm thinking about what to do about that. And the idea of putting the um, glitter pen around the um, leaves is to try and make them look a little bit wintry, like there was some um, a frost of some sort, but without, you know, but in different colours, just to make them look really pretty. I've got lots of colours, why not use them? Now we've got all this detailing on this tree trunk, but I'm just going to ignore it for the purposes of this picture. I will still see it. It's not like we're getting rid of it, it's there, we can enjoy it. I'm not going to worry about colouring the different bits. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. Just computer switched itself off so the computer um, so just um, colouring the outside more and then doing less as we go in towards the centre really so it all gets a bit of colour but there's reduced amounts towards the middle I'm just I'm just going to do the whole of the tree like that now I'm thinking I'm still thinking about glitter pen because I'd like some but I'm trying to think why the colour. I've got silver. I might do it in silver because I don't have anything else. Um, I've got green with gold. I've got blue with gold. I've got a different green. I've got purple with blue. And that's blue. And I've got red. I think um, I'll probably do silver. I think gold goes really well. But I think because we're already using gold, I think just to use something different might be fun. So that's... And that's what I'm going to be doing with that page. Um, I'll leave you with that shot. I, what I'll try and do is finish it and pop a photo at the end for you. It all depends on how well I get on time-wise. But I hope I can finish it. It's rather a nice one. Um, this tree, by the way, I've got, it isn't from one of Johanna's books, which is really interesting. I wonder if it's from a calendar or a diary or something. It's not from one of her books at all. It looks quite early, I think. Um, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And we've also, at the very bottom here, 
Um, we've got some gemstones in the tree. I might just do them in a glitter pen just for fun, just because I can and we're making it glittery. I think that's what I'll probably go for. Um, this complex root system is going to be interesting, but I shall just carry on with this pencil and uh, see where the pencil takes me really. Just have fun with it. But uh, that's my little idea for that page. I don't think I really needed much of a demo. Oh, excuse me, here comes. Must be my coffee. Um, but anyway, I hope that was fun and interesting and um that's just just an idea for you. So thank you very much for uh, watching. Um, don't forget to click the um, subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos and get reminders. And um, it also makes me smile if you do. So thank you so much for watching and happy colouring.